This journal is making people in D.C. nervous. The author doesn't sound like a radical. She sounds like some... Exactly why this journal is making people in DC nervous. The author may sound familiar. It's all about a life lived on the surface, careless youth that believes it will last forever. I'll get that. You must have broken a lot of hearts back then, Miss Parker. San Trope, August 1955. The owner of that yacht proposed to me, you know. I turned him down and turned them all down. <laughs> Are you ready for your morphine shot? Mm. Your dinner's in the fridge. I prepared another dose of morphine if the pain in your hands gets bad again. Mom, well, you said we were only going to be here for 15 minutes and late for my shift. I'll be done in a minute, Lucas. You want me to take this job, so if they fire me, it's on you. Can I get you anything else? Would you mind? Oh, of course not. In the end, all I was left with were frivolous memories. And no one to share them with. Life had become nothing but a tedious string of pointless days until I decided to do something about it. I took that shot from Ison, and it changed everything. My soul, my consciousness, whatever you'd like to call it, can leave my body. I can leave my body, and I can be young again. You can't see me or hear me, but I'm there. In the blink of an eye, I can go wherever I want, see anything or anybody. Like a young woman about to realize how gifted she really is. Oh, you are Vanessa. You gotta get out there. Everyone wants to meet the artist. What if they hate it? What if they hate me? You're kidding, right? You've already sold five paintings. You're a hit. This ability of mine has truly changed my life for the better. I feel more free and more connected to the world around me, to other people. I get to be a fly on the wall, and I get to see the side of people that they try to hide from the world. Yes, I am Vanessa Hedge. I don't mean to take credit, I mean, she's the artist, but, uh, I really helped her get out there. Maybe I can help you. We'd love to see her work, especially the ladies. I thought my story was going to end with me withering into bitter regret and desperation. Instead, life has handed me another chance, and 
I intend to make the most of it. Taking the shot has given me a new will to live. A gift that allows me to do and feel things that no one else on Earth has experienced before. Yet all you hear is the government the saying how bad the mice is. is. How no one should take the shot. If you're reading this, you should know it hasn't been bad for me. For me, it changed everything. Maybe it could for you, too. It hasn't been bad for me. For me, it changed everything. Maybe it could for you, too. That's the last entry. Whoever's writing this, post the blog anonymously. We take it down, it goes up someplace else. I have to admit, it's well written. If I were on the fence and I read this, I might take the shot. Well, that's exactly why this journal is making people in D.C. nervous. The author doesn't sound like a radical. She sounds like somebody's aunt. Yeah, if your aunt's willing to take a chance in getting the bill, why shouldn't you? Assuming the woman is telling the truth about what she can do. I mean, okay, it might be irresponsible that she's writing about it, but it's not a threat. Isn't that what we do here? We track down threats. We're not the thought police. Taking promycin is illegal, not to mention potentially fatal. If that blog inspires 20 people to take promycin, 10 of them are going to die. Don't forget about the ones who survive. Do you really think they'll all be lovely people too? Do you think their abilities will be as benign as hers? This woman has to be stopped, and we can find out exactly what her intentions were just as soon as you find her.